Welcome back to Face the Nation. It's 60 years of communist China, 60 years of red China. Is China the real superpower of the 21st century? Carry on with your voting and we'll carry on with our discussion. Shikhar Gupta, I have here your article from the Indian Express, Stop Fighting the 1962 War. But here is a country that has just demonstrated its military power on its 60th anniversary. It has its strategic relationship with Pakistan. It tried to block our NSG waiver at Vienna. It says that Arunachal Pradesh is disputed and it's actually southern Tibet. Uh, and uh, today there was a diplomatic fracas because it, because it stapled its visa onto Kashmiri passports. Should India ever be under the belief that this country can ever be an ally or that we should trust see, it? See, big powers usually do not become allies. Also, when big powers happen to be neighbors, they almost can never be allies. Uh, US and Canada are not allies, I mean, besides the fact that Canada is not a big power. Uh, and there are asymmetries involved. So I think uh, I think we ha we have to stop being either nostalgic or living uh, or living on ancient nightmares. No, but but, in, but does in, China have a problem with the rising India story? Well, China, because that's how the energy waiver uh, was, was interpreted. I think right now China has uh, has a problem with the chi rising China story, uh, mm -hmm. which is that we've done all this for 30 years. We've become a global power. Right. We need more acknowledgement. And I think they right. thought last year that their moment had arrived right. with the with the financial crisis around this time last year. Uh -huh. They thought now the whole world will turn to China for succor and help and mm -hmm. solace. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as, and the world did turn to China. Mm -hmm. But even when they did turn to China, they said China and India. Uh, right. And I thought we were sort of being dragged in uh, on, on, onto the high table. But the fact now is that the global uh, economy or the financial system has recovered so quickly mm -hmm. that, that that need for China is no longer there. So I think right. I think there, there is a certain a uh, certain burst of nationalism there. Right. And, and, and Chinese now want the world to take them seriously. Uh, mm -hmm. They are pushing at the Japanese, they are pushing at the Vietnamese, they are pushing at the Taiwanese. So you see a bit of that. But you know, uh, we should also qualify that some of the positions that are now coming out in the open, also because media is more active, are the long-held Chinese positions. They have never not said that Arunachal Pradesh is Southern Tibet. Southern Tibet or, or, or not a disputed part of, or mm -hmm. not, a part, not, not a part of their territory or not a disputed zone. They have never accepted Kashmir as a part of India. In fact, most mm -hmm. of the world has not. Mm -hmm. So those are things about which we can be thick-skinned as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think some of this sort of uh, holy outrage, mm -hmm. every time somebody questions the status of Sikkim, uh, uh, of, of Kashmir. Uh, right.